I'm Peter Esperanza and with Dr. Griselda Toto, I'm going to present to you the research that we did on flipped classroom, entitled, Does the Implementation of a Flipped Classroom Pedagogy Change a Student's Attitude Towards Mathematics? This particular research is going to be presented on eLearning 2014 World Conference on eLearning. For this research, I'm going to present what flipped classroom is, what motivated me to use the flipped classroom model to use it as a model to make students. I'm also going to uh, show you what the FIS model, which is the flipped classroom model that I use to my students. How I measured attitude of my students towards mathematics. I'm also going to show you my data collection. And of course, the most important part of my research, the results, okay? Now for most of you who are teaching, probably you've heard about the flipped classroom model and uh, in the flipped classroom model the basic premise is that the students are now working on their lectures at home with the aid of a computer and uh, the classroom or the homework is now being done inside the classroom together with the teacher now in this flip model by definition it is a model where in it inverts the traditional teaching model by delivering instruction outside of the classroom and the homework is now being now, done. What motivated me to flip my classroom? So why did I flip it? 2012, I used to have uh, six periods of math classes, which runs for about an hour per period. <coughs> and then in 2013, they changed our schedule. So instead of six classes in one day, now it's seven classes in one day, which means from one hour per math class, now it's down to 50 minutes. So 10 minutes each period is lost in my lecture time. Now, you think that it's just 10 minutes. It's not gonna hurt. In a month, it's three hours and 20 minutes. And in a semester, it's 16 hours and uh, 40 minutes. And uh, this motivated me to flip my classroom to compensate on the lost time that we had on this sudden shift, especially teaching two AP classes and other three math classes for that particular year. And uh, this is one of the reasons why I flipped my... Now, I also implemented a very special uh, model in uh, Flip Classroom, and I used the FIS model developed by Dr. McCammon. And in this particular model, my students are seeing me uh, online giving lectures with the use of a loose board and uh, they're seeing my handwriting on the board so that they would be encouraged to um, keep notes based on the video lectures that I am giving to them. According to uh, Dr. McCammon, teacher must be in the video because the use of facial cues, eye contact, and gesturing are the key elements in publishing particular lessons in this so particular in this website. I uh, uploaded all my videos and uh, grouped them into categories so that all my students will not have difficulty um, accessing my video lectures at home because it's now divided into subject. Now the structure in my flipped classroom is pretty simple. So my students are viewing all my video lecture at home with the aid of their computer and uh, the video doesn't usually run for 30 minutes or an hour. It usually takes about five to ten minutes to finish a lecture wherein uh, the students can uh, pause the video to take notes of uh, the lesson that we're going to be working on the next day and uh, through this the students are now exposed to with the lessons that we're working on the next day leaving me with enough time to um, conduct my lessons and perform differentiated instruction to my students. Now in measuring the attitudes of the students towards mathematics. I use Tapia and Marsh questionnaire which they developed on 2004. It's called Attitudes Towards Mathematics Inventory. And in this inventory, my students answered 40 item survey questionnaire which focused on their self-confidence, motivation, value, and enjoyment. And on this questionnaire, they use a Likert scale, one being strongly disagree and five is being strongly agree, and three being our neutral score of uh, 3.0. Now the reason why I'm interested to uh, see if there is a change on uh, 
the math attitudes of my students don't. It's because from previous study, it is said that it's common practice to evaluate a new progr program by determining people's attitudes towards any type of programs that they want to implement. And, this and here's the result of my research after exposing my students for a year of flipped classroom model. Now you can see here on my first set of table the mean score or ATMI mean score of my students prior to experiencing the flip. So on the four subscales on the ATMI questionnaires that they answered, you will see that their mean or ATMI mean is above 3.0, wherein 3.0 being neutral. So you will see that my students prior to coming into the flip clash and model approach already has a positive attitude towards mathematics, which is a good thing because without the flip clash and model, I, now I know that they have a positive attitude towards mathematics. Now after the flipped classroom approach, which is during the 17th week of the second semester, you will see the difference between their ATMI mean score before the flip and after the flip. And this is a graphical display on how the mean difference of my students are shown in this particular graph. So you can see that the difference for the, al um, the mean difference for the value, enjoyment, self-confidence, and motivation subscale of my students are all above 3.0, which means that there is a positive attitude or a positive change of attitude towards mathematics after the flipped classroom model. 